Welcome back to the show, 726. Uh, here in the studio is Mark Missler. We all know him from Highway 7 South. He has a business down there, uh, Missler Furniture. Yep. All, got all kinds of stuff down there, not, not just furniture. We've got appliances and different things down there. He's been there for quite a few years. Come in there. He'll make you a deal. <laughs> <laughs> always. Always. Now, you've got a little side thing going on other than your business you want to talk about. It's called The Call. Tell our viewers about it. Yeah. We do. The Call is actually uh, where it started. I usually like to tell people where it started. It happens, you know, will you answer the call? And uh, we refer to a call in Scripture. We're, we're actually a faith-based organization, mm -hmm. so you would want to believe in the Bible. But in James 1.27, it says, Pure and undefiled religion before our God and Father is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress. Mm -hmm. And uh, the call stands for children of Arkansas, loved for a lifetime. And basically, uh, what has happened is, this started in Little Rock uh, with the hopes of opening a chapter in every county. Mm -hmm. Uh, we actually are taking care of Boone County, and then we are now taking with Newton County, too. Uh -huh. We're going to help them. And uh, we have a unique partnership that we work with DHS, Department of Human Services. And uh, what we do is, is try to open foster homes. We try to put uh, foster kids in Christian homes. Um, a really big deal um, right now going on we have uh 21 families in boone county we have over just over 100 kids that are currently in the foster system from boone county wow um probably a whole lot more than that need to be unfortunately so that's that's kind of a starting thing yeah. of what we're dealing with and, uh, and so you have uh, there's more people that could be involved with, well, I guess your resources and volunteers are limited, is that what you're trying to say? Or We need a lot of help. Okay. Uh, it probably is going to start with churches. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we're faith-based, so if, if we try to, what we need, well, here's what we really need, we obviously need foster homes. Right. Right. Not everyone is going to be called to do that, but there are other things we need. Our greatest need is prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always financial things that you can do mm -hmm. but we need meals for people are giving up their lives to foster care and they need meals people yeah. could make meals freeze them and we could take them to the call which is in okay. Boone, it's on the top of the old ramada Inn hill the okay. old joe Byers dental office oh okay, okay. Uh, All right. and we would take donations of lots of things uh in fact we've got a garage sale coming up soon uh -huh. We can't sell your stuff at that garage sale, but you can come and get stuff, make a donation, and take what you want. Oh, okay. It's pretty neat. That, okay. That's coming up. Um, but that's, that's some things we need. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, the girls told me to mention this, mm -hmm. is talk about why kids are in foster care. Okay. Um, they told me that it's because there's a family problem endangers the child's safety. Mm -hmm. Um Abuse or neglect, unfortunately, the parents are in jail. And in some cases, and uh, we ended up this way with a foster kid we brought in, the parents are deceased. Mm. And there actually is no one. Uh, wow. it's, it's, it's usually horrible, but uh, that's why they're there. Uh, the other thing is foster kids a lot of time are removed at school. They've got nothing. They didn't get to go home and get anything that means anything. Mm. You know, they're taken from their family. They're taken from their school. And with 21 homes, obviously now kids are leaving the area. I was going to say, what do you do with yeah. the overflow? They go to shelters or foster homes, yeah. usually Little Rock, Fort Smith. Oh, no, yeah. wow. And then everything's strange. Now you're not at school with your teacher or friends. It's, yeah. it's really sad. Yeah. Um, well, the foster care that you're looking for, is that a short term or is it long term or can you make it as however be you both. want it? Be Could both. be both. Yeah. yeah. We, we, what we can do is we can train you very quickly. Um, mm. it ta it's a lot shorter route than going through the state. Okay. Uh, we even need people to be grandparents. Uh, 
a lot of times we have a foster home that is single mom or dad and grandparents don't live here. We, the kids need grandparents, somebody that can just take the kid to the Dairy Queen occasionally, right. maybe buy them a Christmas present, have them over uh -huh. to your house a couple times a year, or, uh -huh. you know, maybe once a week. It depends on the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. But th there are numerous opportunities. Um, the girls, let me, let me run over those because okay. they, they gave me ideas here. Okay. We need uh, for transportation. Uh, Maybe to sit with a newborn baby. A newborn baby is born at the hospital, and drugs are involved. DHS is going to take that baby to Little Rock, to Children's, which is okay, mm. Mm. unless we can provide someone to sit at the hospital with that baby till we can find a local oh, foster see. home. Um, okay. The meals, sit with children in the hospital. Uh, even foster parents, you know, if they're working, and they are, uh, Somebody has to sit at the hospital with those kids. Uh, mentor, biological mothers in particular. Some lady that's a mentor, Christian, mm -hmm. we prefer mm -hmm. Christian woman, mm -hmm. that would be a good mentor just to help, hey, you know, let's make a better life for ourselves. What can we do not to make the same mistakes? You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. that, that type of thing. Churches can host informational meetings. We need that. Or a parent's night out. They could provide a babysitting and give these guys a chance just to go to Walmart and keep the foster kids and play with uh -huh. them at church. Um, that would be a big deal. Uh, we also need people that would be grant writers where we could get grants. We don't know how to do that. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just know how to make people aware of things. I'm not, I'm not one to beg you to help because everybody's got something they're doing. We're sure. all busy Absolutely. in life. Absolutely, yeah. But, but this way, somebody can say, I, I, I'm, I, I, feel, I feel like I should help. Mm -hmm. uh, just tell me what I can do. So, you, I mean, you guys can put yeah. their expertise in with what you actually need. That's right. That's yeah. what we can do. And yeah. you don't have to keep a kid. But there's many ways right. to Other ways help you can help. Right. Food, without, transportation, can, sitting sure. with people. Doctor visit, visits, visit. yeah. Sure. Okay. Wow. okay. Court visits, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, in our case, our child had to be taken to Pope County. Uh, that's tough to yeah. close. You know, sure. I have to close my store, get somebody to work yeah. there, yeah. Yeah. while we're running to court. Uh, yeah. You know, so that's a deal. Yeah. Uh, there's there's many ways. Well, let's let's tell people how they can contact you. I mean, if okay. it, you've laid it on their heart, let's get them okay. uh, into contact with you. Of course, you could always contact me at my store, Mr. Zoak Furniture, here in Harrison, Arkansas. Uh, Laura, I think the number is, is on the uh, thing for the call. Okay. Uh, that's there the main office. Yeah. Uh, you can do that. We are having, uh, and this is not for anybody, that, this can be anybody that wants to come, November 3rd at 6 o'clock at Valley Springs First Baptist Church. An informational meeting. You can come and get all your questions answered uh, at that meeting. The girls know more about this than me. Uh, okay. They just do. Um, but that's that would be a very good place to come and get your, your questions answered. But, again, you can come to my store. Okay. You can call my store. So it's November 3rd. Give us a time. 6 o'clock in the, the evening Valley Springs, at okay. Valley Springs okay. First Baptist Church. We okay. try to do all across the county, and we're going to do Newton County, but... Yeah. You can find out more about it. I mean, we're getting kids every day. It's a big wow. deal, okay. unfortunately. Do you have a Facebook page or no? I would, yes, there is okay. a Facebook page. I'm not on it, but the you girls can, you are. Can, you can uh, probably Facebook. search yeah. for it and find yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, it's on the Internet. All right. So. Well, Mark, we appreciate you coming by. Thank and if, you're, if people out there appreciate feel it. like they want to help, they can uh, mm -hmm. give Mark Mister a call down. At, I don't know if we got your phone number. What's your phone number it's at the three, store? Three, eight seven zero three six five thirty nine hundred. 3900. Yeah. Or if you want to uh, wait till the end of the show, we've got more information on contact information. Sure. Or if you just want to call the station here, we'll uh, be glad to pass along that information. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate Thank it. You. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Up next, we're going to be talking with uh, Tina Farmer from the Boone County Library. She's going to talk about maybe how you can register your historic building with the National Registry. <clears throat> Stay with us. We'll be right back.